Hello there, welcome back to the next part of types of all add distribution system part 2. So let's start. Now the next one is single duct variable volume multi zone system. So here also we are using single duct to supply the condition air to each and every zone. Okay. For return air also we are using single deck and for supply condition air we are using single duct. That is why this system is called as a single duct. But see here we are using VAV unit. You can see for each and every zone we are using VAV unit variable air volume. It means in this system you can vary the air flow rate. Okay. And it is also called as a multi zone system. Now see what is here. A variable air volume system changes the quantity of air supplied to a space in response to changes in loads. Okay. A central air handling unit supplies air through a common duct pathway to all spaces conditioned by the unit. So here you can see suppose uh, in zone 1, zone 3, zone 2 is given. Suppose in zone 1 uh, you have done the heat load calculation and we need to supply 1000 CFM. Okay, suppose we have designed for 10 number of student, 10 number of people are sitting in this uh, space and we have designed as per 10 number of people. So we have got 1000 CFM condition air, means that much of CFM air we need to supply. But due to some reason, if number of people are decreased, okay, due to some reason. So what happened here? Here the temperature, because we know that as per human comfort, we have to maintain 22 degrees Celsius. but if your number of people will reduce means decrease so the temperature level is also reduced so here see in each room we have uh, installed the thermostat that thermostat sends the temperature level and give the signal to vav box or vav unit that this zone required less amount of air flow rate okay so in this way the system work okay the variable air volume is achieved by VAV boxes. When the indoor temperature condition vary from the set point, the VAV box damper responds by restricting or increasing the supply air volume to the space. Okay. As shown in figure below, each zone, you can see here, each zone is provided with a VAV box, means terminal control box that adjusts air supply volume in response to the zone thermostat. So the temperature of, of supply air to each zone remain constant. Whereas the flow rate varies depending upon the load on that particular zone. Okay, that is why I have told you now this system is called as a variable volume system. So the temperature of air supplied by the air handling unit may be varied occasionally to adapt to building wide changes in loads but instant control of each zone is achieved through modulation of supply air flow rate so the variable air flow volume is achieved by vav boxes the boxes have a modulating damper that throttles in response to the thermostat setting when the indoor temperature condition vary from the set point on that time what happened the vav box damper responds by restricting or increasing the supply air volume to the space. So in this way, single duct variable volume multi zone system will work. Okay. Now here you can see VAV system control sequence, how we can control the air flow rate. Okay. So see in this figure, you can see here we have a AHU air handling unit. Okay, inside this we have a, a supply air fan. So this supply fan is connected with variable frequency drive and you can see here we are using single duct to supply the condition air to each and every room. Suppose here we have considered five room, room one, room two, room three, room four, room five and in each in each room we have uh, installed the VAV unit or VAV box you can say and in this line only see here we have a pressure differential sensor okay then all 
uh, error which we are taking from the room means return error again we are supplying to return error to this ahu some amount of air we need to exhaust to the atmosphere and to maintain that that air here we are taking the outside air means fresh air okay now see let's uh, consider a vav installation covering five room as shown in this figure okay uh, the system consists consist of air handling unit means ahu with an ac drive fan motor getting so the supply air fan is speed controlled by a variable frequency drive and it delivers the air to individual rooms throughout the building by supply air duct so this system is used for multi zone air conditioning and has a vav terminal box for each zone or you can say each room okay so as the terminal box open and closes what happen the static pressure in the ducting increases and decreases so this change in pressure is sensed by the vav controller which react to vary the air delivered by the unit the ac drive control the air volume by keeping the pressure constant in the duct work and the temperature in the individual room is measured by thermostat which directly control the dampers in the room terminal units so the sensor you can see here we have installed the sensor so this uh, the sensor monitor the pressure of the duct the pressure sensor would be located at the most remote point of the supply main duct that is between uh, room 4 and room 5 because we, we, you can see uh, this is our most remote area na? most remote point means what the farthest point from this ahu so there you have to install the sensor okay so suppose if uh, vav1 this which you have installed in room number 1 if vav1 closes down due to low load as sensed by a room thermostat it will result in high pressure buildup in the duct if the pressure suppose uh, here so what happen if this vav box closes down uh, due to low load suppose if your vav unit closes as sensed by uh, room thermostat so it will result in high pressure buildup in the duct so the pressure sensor would sense the rise in pressure and provide a signal to the ahu fan vfd to reduce the speed of the fan because we know that vfd this fan is interconnected with vfd uh, means variable frequency drive and the function of vfd is the main purpose of vfd is what it is used to control the speed of motor okay so alternatively uh, if a vfd is not installed suppose so how you can control the speed so control would be accomplished by altering the inlet vents of the fan so higher pressures due to the closing of vav1 would tends to push more air from vav2 vav3 vav4 and vav5 the controlling of fan speed would accurately adjust the discharge volume through these vavs okay so in this way this vav system control okay we can control the air flow rate i hope all of you understood about this now see the advantages of single duct multi zone variable volume system so in that first uh, in in the vav system one air handling unit can serve multiple zone of the building okay this is the first advantage second vav system are easy to control are energy efficient and allow reasonable room control yes uh, vav system is energy efficient because okay initial cost of this system is high as compared to cav system but the running cost is low so that is why it is a energy efficient and allow reasonable room control okay next uh, uh, it this system allows simultaneous heating and cooling without seasonable seasonal changeover okay so simultaneous you can give the heating and cooling so this is the another advantage of this system 
now see the disadvantage of single duct multi zone variable volume system first is what high initial cost as i told you because here in vav system uh, we are using the vfd to control the speed of motor we are using vfd variable frequency drive so the cost of vav is high vfd so that is why here the initial cost is high but you compare this system with cav na so the running cost of this variable volume system is low as compared to cav system because in cav system you cannot control the air flow rate you cannot increase or sorry you cannot reduce or increase the speed of motor because we have to supply constant air flow rate in each and every zone whatever you have calculated so that much of only you can vary the temperature in that system but in vav system you can control the speed of motor suppose if your requirement is not that much suppose in each zone you you want to supply the 1000 cfm air but your sub, uh, requirement is low now only 500 cfm you want to supply so yeah uh, you can control the speed of motor so when you reduce the speed of motor what happen you can easily consume the energy also so the uh, here the one disadvantage is what high initial cost of this system second maintenance is increased due to multiple boxes within the condition space yes in each uh, room before each room you have to in each branch you can say you have to install the vav box okay and balancing of damper could be difficult if the air flow rate varies widely okay so this is the another disadvantage now see the application where you can use this system application of single duct multi zone variable volume system so it is written here vav systems are suitable for use in buildings having many areas of dissimilar cooling requirement okay in that area you can use this system so this is all about uh, our third types of all air distribution system now see finally we have to discuss about fourth types of all air distribution system what dual duct system so see now the fourth one and the last one is dual duct constant volume or variable air volume system okay so here uh, why we are telling dual duct see at the time at the time here in this system at the time you can give the heating to some of room and cooling both okay so see here in this figure when you see na here we are using two duct one for supplying condition air to each and every zone and second to supply warm air to each and every zone okay so here two duct we are using that is why this system is called as a dual duct and constant volume or variable what system you are using as per that okay if you are using a constant volume system so in each and every zone we have to supply the constant air flow rate and if you are using vav system so as per your requirement okay now see uh, about uh, dual duct constant volume system so the dual duct system employs two air duct one cold air duct and one warm air duct from the air handler to the condition spaces okay now i think all of you understood why we are telling the dual duct because here we are using two duct okay one for supplying condition air to the room and second for supplying the warm air okay the total volume of air supplied to each zone remains constant if you are using constant volume system so the here we are the total volume of air supplied to each zone remains constant okay however the supply air temperature varies depending upon loads only here you can vary the temperature depending upon loads okay the system is well suited for providing temperature control of individual spaces or zones return air is accomplished through a single duct 
system you can see return error will return through this single duct only so you can see in this figure uh, figure shows the schematic of a dual duct constant volume system as shown in the figure the supply air fan here fan is split the flow into two stream one stream flow to the cooling coil and get cooled and dehumidify to about 52 degree Fahrenheit okay while the other stream flow through the heating coil and is heated to about 95 to 110 degree Fahrenheit okay so the cold and hot stream flow through separate and parallel duct you can see in this image we are using separate and parallel duct to supply the hot and cold air so the duct are not necessary of equal size depending upon building heating and cooling loads so before each condition space or zone the cold and hot air stream are mixed in required proportion using a mixing box arrangement which is controlled by the zone thermostat okay the total volume of air supplied to each zone remain constant however the supply air temperature varies depending upon loads so this system is well suited for providing temperature control of individual spaces or zone or you can see return air is accomplished through a single duct system okay so this is all about dual duct constant volume system now see the advantage of this system so first uh, it is written here cooling in some zone in this system cooling in some zone and heating in other zone can be achieved simultaneously so this is the first suppose in some zone you want to give the cooling and in some zone you want to give the heating so it is possible in this dual duct system okay now the next advantage adaptable to either constant volume or vav system okay this dual duct system you can use either for constant volume system or vav system in both you can use this dual duct system getting now the next is no seasonal changeover is necessary here okay so now here you can see the disadvantage of dual duct system is what so some disadvantage is all th also there in that first is what occupancy more space for running the two ducts have to be sized to handle the entire airflow rate if required okay so here the this system will occupy more space because of course we are taking dual duct for supplying condition air we are taking one duct for supplying heating air also we are taking so it requires more space next the disadvantage is what high cost high first cost for the installation of two supply duct throughout the building okay means the initial cost is high and the next is not very energy efficient due to the need for simultaneous cooling and heating of the air stream so these are the disadvantages of using dual duct system so this is all about types of all air distribution system i hope all of you enjoyed the session see you in next one